Welcome to Dark Souls 2, Crown of the Ivory King. It is finally time for the third and final DLC. Yep, it's finally coming to an end. But not for a while yet. There's still plenty to experience. So before I jump into it, I do want to mention that I have a new weapon build. So for, for practically the entire game up till this point, for the 60, what was it, like 40 to 60 hours for the base game and then plus however long I've spent on the two previous DLCs. For almost the entire time, I've only used one weapon, and that's just the basic halberd, upgraded to plus 10, and I think it had raw applied to it as well. And it's been wonderful. I really like that halberd. Does a hell of a lot of damage. You can get a lot of hits off on it, with the amount of stamina it takes for each hit. And it's got a really good range. Yeah, it's an awesome weapon. I love that thing, but... I've been using it for so long that I just wanted to try something different. So here's what I'm going to be using from here on out. Oh yeah. I've wanted a power stance for a while now. Which is what this is called, by the way. So you can dual wield without power stancing. So if I do this, you can see there's like a little change in my posture. This is just plain dual wielding. Which basically means that you have two weapons, but they're basically independent of each other. So if... I can just, you know, just attack with the left one. Or I can just attack with the right one. But what power stancing allows you to do when you do this, which that's done by holding down the Y button on an Xbox 360 controller, what this allows you to do is basically attack with both of the weapons at the same time, like this. So it's much, much faster. It's more of a normal... I guess it's more like what normal dual wielding is in most RPGs. Because when you think of dual wielding, you think of attacking with both at the same time, not kind of using them independently. And yeah, I've wanted to do that for a long time, but I've just never done it, especially because it requires, it has very high stat requirements. And the reason for that is because basically how it works is whatever weapon has the highest stat requirements, if you want to power stance that, uh, if you want to power stance your weapons, then it looks at whichever weapon has the highest stat requirements. And then it requires you to have 1.5 times those requirements if you want to power stance two of them. So, for example, if you have a weapon that... If you have two weapons that both require 10 strength and 10 dexterity, then if you want to power stance both of them, you're going to need 15 strength and 15 dexterity. So it's pretty steep on the requirements. And if you want to use... If you want to power stance something like a greatsword, for example, you're going to need ridiculous, ridiculous stats. But, if you want to power stance something very small, like these falchions, Fal I don't know how to pronounce it, falcon, falchion, falchion, I have no idea. But if you want to power stance something like this, it's really not that big of a deal, because they actually have very modest stat requirements, because they're such small weapons. Like, uh, 9 strength and 13 dexterity. Yeah, it's no problem at all. So yeah, got two of these babies, uh, all the way upgraded to plus 10. Nothing else about them has been modified. And together, they do a hell of a lot of damage. I don't have much experience using them. I, I tested them out a little bit. So I'm at least a little bit familiar with them, but... Yeah, it's going to be probably a bit rough at the beginning, getting used to this new fighting style. Because I've been using the Halberd for about 60 hours or more. And I've used this one for probably like 30 minutes. <laughs> so I'm going to have to unlearn some stuff. Like, for example, the fact that I need to get a lot closer to enemies now because my weapon is shorter. And the fact that these don't have a sweet spot like the Halberd does, so it actually doesn't matter where I hit them from, so long as I do hit them. And also the fact that now I need to actually attack with the... the left button, instead of the right button. Which is kind of weird, because normally when you attack, just to do a normal attack with a single weapon... If you're doing... this, you know, dual wielding, or uh, double handing it like I do with the Halberd, then you'd use the right buttons to attack. However, if you want to actually make use of the power stance, you actually have to press the left button to do, to do this attack. If you press the right button like I normally do, it actually just attacks with the right weapon. Which is weird. To be honest, I kind of wish it was the other way around, actually, where the right button does the, the double attack and the left button allows you to attack with a single weapon. But... Oh well, I'll get used to it. I tried a bunch of other weapons too, by the way. 
Like, I did not decide on these quickly. It took me a long time. I tried. I was thinking about doing double-aged smelter swords. Which looks fucking cool, but... Um, it's got some steep stat requirements. <laughs> it's pretty badass, though, isn't it? Oh, yeah. But, uh, yeah, those take a little bit too much. I mean, they require 40 strength. Which I'm pretty sure means I would need 60 strength to dual wield, dual wield them. Or power snatch them, rather. Yeah, so that wasn't going to happen. I also considered a very strange combination of using the... The Fume Ultra Greatsword, which is a pretty badass weapon. Have to admit, this thing is beautiful. And it is actually surprisingly fast. Like, I don't really think it's any slower than my Halberd. Maybe a little bit, but... Yeah, it's actually pretty fast. Like, if you wanted to do a single attack and then dodge. Like, that's not too slow. And I was thinking about actually combining that with a parrying dagger. Which would have been a really interesting combination. So I could parry attacks. And then attack them with my huge weapon in my right hand. My Ultra Greatsword. Which is a really hilarious combination. Because you have this massive sword that's literally taller than me. And then I have this baby little parrying dagger. It's pretty hilarious. But that would require a major reconfiguration of my stats. Which I didn't want to do. And I would also have to get used to parrying, which is something that I've never really done. So, in other words, I would be really, 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 really bad. Like, with these DLCs, the difficulty is obviously higher than the base game. Because they're expecting you at this point to be really good with the game. So if I just changed to require parrying and this massively different build, like, I would just suck. I would just get totally beaten. So, yeah. I finally settled on these, which didn't require me to reconfigure my stats too much. I did have to crush some souls and get a little bit more dexterity to be dexterity to be able to power stance them, but other than that, yeah, no changes to my character. Which is good, because that means I can still use my halberd. Like, I can just equip my halberd right now, and it still works just fine, and I can go back to my old ways if I ever need to. So, there you go. Oh yeah, also changed my rings a little bit for now. So, compared to what I was wearing before, now I have the stone ring on and the ring of blades. So the ring of blades just gives me a lot more damage. And the stone ring makes it so that my attacks take out a lot more poise from the enemies, which means they're more likely to stun them. And the reason that's important is because since these, since these weapons are so small, the amount of poise damage they do is very, very low. Which means that it doesn't stun enemies very much. Which means they tend to kind of just keep attacking when you attack them. Which is bad. So by getting the stone ring on, it makes it so I can kind of stun lock them a lot more. Very helpful. Okay, so this is the Shrine of Winter, which is where I used... Uh, this is where you're granted entrance to Dranglaic Castle. And I believe this is also the entrance to the DLC. It would seem so. Oh my. Yep, this is the Snowy DLC. I just got here and there's already bloodstains everywhere. That's a great sign. Take a look around. God, this place is beautiful. Oh, look at that. There's even snow on my boots, aren't there? Or isn't there? Yeah. That's so cool. The walking sounds in the snow are really good, too. Love all these different environments. Channeled from somewhere far away. So how do these people die? It's from falling off, or their enemies here? <laughs> it is from falling off. That person just jumped. Crazy bastard. What about this one? probably the same. You can barely see them because they're white against white. Yep, just walked off. I 
Alright, so this is a massive castle wall. Actually, I don't know if it's a castle wall, but it is a wall, obviously. Take a look around the environment, see if we can get any clues as to what's coming up. Okay, a bunch of ice, long bridge. And then obviously I'm going to be over there at some point. And that... looks... like... a chest. That doesn't zoom in very much. Well, never mind. See what this person says. Key required ahead, by the way, bloody expensive. Are they talking about the DLC? I got my key. I don't think these DLCs are particularly expensive. Isn't it like 25 bucks for the, the season pass? That's all three of them? 25 bucks for like 30, 20 to 30 hours of gameplay? I don't think that's expensive at all. Basically half the price of the base game for about half the game's length. Now the real fight begins. Indeed. Praise the sun. We could sure use it because it's damn cold. Wait, wait, wait. Is there something here? Other than a message? Hurrah for message. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Asshole. Tell me there's a body. <clears throat> Wonder what the first enemy's gonna be. Bunny! I wonder if the bonfire melts the ice from your shoes. That would be cool. Oh, I... I think it did. I think the bonfire actually melted the ice. Hold on. Okay. Got ice on my shoes. Yeah, look at that! Wait, is that the bonfire or is it just the fact that I'm not in snow? Let's go over here. Whoa, shit! I desire that chaos. Either way, though, that's not a good sign. But yeah, it looks like it's not the bonfire. It's just if you're not standing in snow, it just kind of melt away on its own. Still, though, that's cool. Ooh, should actually go to the bonfire and actually use it because I need my health back and stuff. I'm a little bit worried that I'm going to have to use the... Uh, the Talon ring or whatever it's called, the one that reduces your weapon degradation, because I only killed a couple enemies and the durability of my weapons went down pretty fast and their durability is relatively low, I think it's 45 yeah, 45 might be a problem tight spot Frozen Ilium Lois. Oh my, it's a blizzard. Somehow there's a fire burning there despite the blizzard. Seems magical though. Well, right or left? go right. What's the first enemy gonna be? Oh, there's the first enemy. Okay. Oh, yeah. Ooh, that's a really cool weapon. Yeah, it's like barbed ice. I wonder if it causes bleeding. Probably does. Yeah, these, these weapons, by the way, they actually do cause bleeding. They actually have an innate bleeding effect, despite the fact that they haven't been imbued with, with bleeding. Which is kind of their thing. Which is kind of unfortunate, because bleeding apparently kind of blows, especially against, uh, especially in PvE. It might be okay in PvP, but apparently it's really bad in PV, uh, PvE. You have magic.
Life gems. Be wary of duo. Hmm, I'm looking at the amount of damage my weapons have taken. Yeah. I should probably just wear it now, the ring, before it gets too bad. What do I want to replace? I mean, stamina, no way. Second dragon ring's amazing. Uh, the only thing I can really afford to replace is the ring of blades, which is going to make me do a lot less damage. Not horrible. It's, I think it's going to take away about 80 damage per hit, which is uh, its actually a lot to take away, but... It's not the worst. I'm just testing out my dodging timing. Well, pretty good. Could use some improvement. Meant to dodge. I want to try to backstab as well. See if that's worth kind of getting into. Because it's never something I really paid attention to, backstabbing. Especially since I had a relatively slow weapon, but now that I have a faster weapon, it might be worth it. Dead end. Hmm. The Lavar Burton seems to be broken. That's a bunch of coffins. This place is cocked up with coffins. It's gonna be an archer or something, isn't there? Archers? No, it's fine. Come here. Where are you? Are you gonna wake up? Oh shit! Whoa, I just realized I'm like covered in snow. Is that slowing me? Damn, that range! I'm really good at stun locking people. Thanks to my stone ring. I, uh, I'm really good at making all my enemies stoned. If you know what I mean. Hashtag 420. Yeah, that's an enemy. Or. Well. Seems like an enemy, but it doesn't seem to be easily annoyed. Be wary of woman. That's a woman? Can't see its face. You know what I could do? Let's just leave this thing on, actually. Because it weighs like. Yeah, it weighs almost nothing. Really, it's blurry. Focus. Focus. Jesus, she looks horribly frostbitten. Her limbs are turning black and blue. It's actually an especially cool environment to be in um, at the moment because actually lately I've been reading a lot of a lot of books about Arctic exploration, different expeditions to the, uh, the North and South Pole, George DeLong and. Ernest Shackleton and stuff like that. So it's actually interesting to be in such a cold environment. You learn a lot about the horrible effects of cold upon the human body when you read stuff like that. Do I want to kill you though? I mean, you're not attacking me. They say enemy, so she probably is going to attack me. Um, I'll keep an eye on her. Still there. Golden Fruit Bomb. She's still not getting up. Come on, three things at me. Oh. 
Oh shit. I think I'm gonna kill her accidentally. No, not quite. Poor man. Just wanted to get in there. <laughs> It'd be kind of funny if they added in a... Oh, snow dogs. If they added in an environmental mechanic where, like, if you're wearing very little clothes, like if you're a spellcaster and you're wearing just robes or something, and you're out in this cold, like, you start to start to get frozen and slow down or something. It wouldn't be a good idea, because it would screw over people with certain builds. But it'd be pretty funny. Okay, fast against fast. Let's go! Yeah, these weapons are pretty damn cool. Like, they have an interesting moveset. And uh, I just now realize, though, that one thing these weapons definitely lack compared to the Halberd is AoE. Like, they, they have basically no AoE capabilities whatsoever. Winged Spear plus seven, ooh. Neato. Neato Bandito. Wow, I can actually uh, use that, I think. 200 damage. That's it? Hmm. Let's give that thing a shot. Oh, I've got it on the wrong one, don't I? Whoops. Hmm. Get a lot of attacks off. What about the strong attack? Just a hard thrust. A nice... <clears throat> Let's give this thing a shot. I did experiment around a little bit with spears and... Uh, lances, I think they're called. But I, I think spears are probably best used with a shield. Right, isn't that kind of what they're about? Like, use them behind a shield, and I think they typically have the ability to kind of poke over the shield? Or something like that? So I'm not sure it really makes that much sense to dual wield. Or, uh, not dual wield, but a uh, double hand. A spear. Gorgeous view, but visions of torch. Hmm? I see a poor soul. Oh. Be, be wary of Torch. Hmm? What do you mean? I, I guess it just means look out, like, pick up the Torch. Or should I actually be wary? I'm kind of curious now. I want to light up a torch. I can just imagine what things are watching me from all these small windows. There's a woman behind that. Perhaps the torch can be used to melt it. How many of those insta lights do I have? Decent amount. Okay, it just yeah, okay. It just wastes it, it doesn't even light, it can't stay lit in this weather. It just blows out, I guess. Hmm. I wonder if that can only be opened with like magic. 
a, a fireball or something like that. <laughs> Fatty. Oh, God, there's so many things back there. Okay, hold on. Let me try a stronger weapon. Let me try my Albie. Good old Halby. Hmm. All right. <laughs> Let's try this. Man. I don't get it. I can't light a torch. Big weapons don't work. I don't know, maybe the way to do this will illuminate itself soon. Maybe there's an item or something I'll find. I'm so gonna get my ass kicked using this weapon that I've never used before. I know these people are gonna be problems if I just leave them, but they're not attacking me. No. I'll be merciful until I've, I'm proven wrong. What the hell did I just try to do? I just tried to block. Wow, it's actually really good at poking multiple enemies. It's actually a pretty good weapon. Yeah, if you had a shield to go with this thing. Like, let's try a uh, single handing. I don't have any good shields, really. Actually, I don't have. Do I have any shields? I have two. Yeah, let's try this one. Like, I'm definitely gonna stick with these weapons, by the way. I'm just kind of messing around with the new stuff I find. So I, can you block and attack at the same time? Yeah, you can, can't you? Yeah, and I don't think you can do that with other weapons, can you? I think that's a spear-specific thing. Like, if I try to use this weapon... Yeah, yeah, that's specific to spears. Let's give that a shot for a second. Yeah, like, if you really wanted a turtle, this could be a very effective way of doing that. Alright, let's dump that stuff. Crystal mofo. Alright, ambush up ahead. Not surprising. It's another one of those women. They keep seeing enemies, but they're not attacking me. Watch, they're probably like powering up the enemies around them. So by leaving them alive, I'm probably screwing myself. Is that a body? Like, there's something inside of this ice. Ooh. 
What if they're keeping the ice there? Maybe if I kill them, the ice disappears? That'd be weird. Alright, I'm gonna try it. <laughs> I just made her rope floof around. I'm sorry. Ooh, you do have a dagger. She did have a dagger. Yeah, they're gonna stab me at some point. I don't know when, but they will. But they don't have it out right now. <sighs> I don't know. The fact remains, though, there is no point that I can tell in killing them at the moment. They're not attacking me. They just seem pathetic more than anything. I said lure them out, and they're totally right. I need to funnel them. That didn't work. Yeah, look at how much damage, durability damage my weapons are taking despite using the ring. If I didn't use it, they'd already be broken. Let's go get him. Or not. Never mind. Thought there'd be stairs. Small blue burr. Burr. Is that this thing? Yeah. Tempo rarely boosts magic death. Hurrah for tight spot. There's a lot of blood over here. Maybe that's just people taking the enemies over here? Leading them over here to fight? I guess so. Ow. I'm looking a little frosty. Oh god, I hear you. Yeah, bail. You gonna jump? You gonna jump? You gonna jump? No. I'll fight you on the steps. I was trying to move there, by the way. Except it didn't work. <laughs> what the hell? That body over there just like went all floppy when I went in here and came back. I did it again. <laughs> Interesting. 
So yeah, there's actually some interesting moves with these weapons. So if you roll an attack, pretty standard. Uh, but there's this interesting thing where if you backstep and then attack, it does that. So it kind of like puts you back where you were, backstep, and then you kind of almost teleport forwards. So it's obviously meant for like v just very quickly dodging uh, an attack and then getting right back in there, back in their face. Which is pretty cool, but the problem is the backstep doesn't seem to be very useful, because usually their weapons are so long that the backstep doesn't actually get you out of range. So it doesn't work too well. And there's some other standard things, like the, the come out of a roll attack. What, you didn't think I'd see you behind the boxes? <coughs> Excuse me. Is that a bonfire? Oh. I'm gonna burn this place to the ground. Wait, somebody coming? Ah! Still trying to get a feel for how much I can change the direction after I roll and then attack. Crap. Oh shit. Oh. I feel bad for those dudes. Look at how many crystals they got in their backs. It's gotta be heavy. Gotta have back problems. Do dead monsters have back problems? Do they feel pain? I wonder if those women are going to be back. I wonder if they respawn. Hmm, looks like that goes to the castle. So that's maybe the main way. Like, maybe that's what I'm working towards. I'm assuming you need, like, a key to get up there or something. It's really fun to stunlock them. Like, these weapons are really just fun to use. Come at me! Don't even give him a chance to fight me. place seems to have a lot of bleeding effects. Dogs cause bleeding. The uh, standard enemies cause bleeding. The ones with those super slicey swords. Mm. 
wonder if bombs would do it. Like f Ooh, black fire bomb inflicting fire damage. If anything would do it, it'd be that. Damn it. Just barely got a hit off on me. Oh god. Fall off. See ya. I don't think I ever went back here. And there's nothing actually back there. Oh, wait a minute. There's a woman there by the tree. Can I walk up on this? No. It's weird. Oh, I can probably access that by another way. Yeah, I think so. I think I can. <laughs> Look at that. I'm melting from the top down. Oh my god, they've finally indulged my love of crushing boxes. I love it when they do that. Doggy! Fuck off. I said fuck off! See, like, right now, this would be a... Oh, shit. This would be a very good situation for Albert, because the AoE possibilities. Although, it also is not very good in close quarters. But... Yeah, I'm definitely missing the AoE capabilities of the Halberd. Don't turn your back on me! Dumbass. 
Oh, look at all these boxes and barrels. Oh, oh. There's got to be an, a message in here about this, right? There's got to be. Where's the messages? Oh, there's one. I already know what it says. It says, hurrah for rolling. Well, close enough. See if this way is open too. Oh, this probably leads around to the woman uh, by the tree. Or maybe not. Oh god. <laughs> Alright, cool. <laughs> Trying to run through the door. Doesn't even know how to use a doorknob. I just want to get to my get to my first bonfire. You stabbed me through my attacks, you bastard. Yeah, I've got to remember that I don't have a life preservation ring on anymore, anymore, so my souls will actually be dropped and my max health will actually go down. Hmm. It's a glimpse uh, inside of the castle, I think. Gotta be another one here? Yeah. God, these women are creeping me out. They're all over the place, but they're not attacking me. Hi. Try jumping off, and then quite something ahead. Is it a bonfire? Because I could really use a bonfire. But that just leads back. <laughs> so it doesn't go anywhere. What the hell? Okay. It's a useless hole. I keep looking for secret walls by... Mashing my A key. Bonfire, please. Oh, God. You seem special. Ah! Your hand grew very big there for a second. Really neat enemy. An ice crystal enemy. I can't take the. Oh, motherfucker! There is obviously a way to melt this stuff. <sighs> I can't take this. You know what? I bet. I remember seeing that fire. The, the magical looking fire that was somehow burning. Kind of back near the beginning. What do you bet it's some environmental thing, right? Like, after I uh, achieve a certain thing, I could perhaps get rid of the blizzard and everything will get a little bit warmer, at least warm enough to to melt the worst of the ice. I bet it's something like that. Visions of overwhelming defeat. Ooh, I'm ugly. Yeah, this environment is really cool. Maybe if I kill all of those women, it'll get warmer. That's a sentence I didn't think I would ever say. 
Maybe if I kill enough women, it'll get warmer. Poison gas butthole. Um, cool. I'm not sure what that means, but I do want to go down here. Fatty. No, you're fat. Oh, I covered myself in snow because I rolled. Praise the sun. <laughs> 700 votes. <laughs> wow. Okay, I'll do it. Praise the sun. Yeah, look at that fire over there. I wonder if I can do something with it. Hurrah for dark. Dark clutch ring. Hmm. Dark quartz rings. Increases dark attack. Alright. Uh, I'm starting to feel like I really should be killing these... these things. These people, whatever they are, monsters, I don't know. I think it might be a mistake not to. I feel like I'm going to end up having to come back to all of them. Which would be very annoying. Wouldn't feel good to kill... but seem to be helpless creatures, though. Oh wait, I have to go back this way, don't I? Yeah. There's something else up here, because... I don't think it led anywhere up here, did it? Oh yeah, I gotta go that way. I think. Just check real quick. Oh, I guess I'll kill these two. I'm sorry. I'm probably like angering and further emboldening whatever the the first boss I'll fight will be. I'm probably powering it up or something. Yes, there's nowhere else to go up here. I want to get to the first bonfire. This episode's already like an hour long. Many of those women around here. Fire head, thank God. 
and required a head and short door. Alright, let's go for the bonfire. Where's my Bonnie? Where's my Bonnie? Ah, oh, there it is, thank God. What the fuck are you? Oh, look at that. All over your body. It's like, uh, symbols? Writing? Oh, shit. Alright, let's make it go away. Go away, fell beast. There we go. Alright, what's this place called? Abandoned Dwelling. Hope. Backstepping ahead, but try oversight. Huh? It's actually a disturbing amount of bloodstains in here. What happened to you people? Oh. Must have been the enemies from outside, yeah. <laughs> Died mid-roll. They saw him rolling and they were definitely hating. Alright, well, I think I'm going to end this episode here. It's about an hour long. That was a surprisingly good start to this DLC. Uh, not in terms of the quality of it. I, I, you know, I knew it would be good since the previous DLCs were very good. Although I do like the environments. Um, especially. Like, even more than I thought. I, I wasn't sure what the actual environments were going to be like for this one. But I'm really liking the, the snowy look of everything. It's very cool. And the creature design is also very cool. Uh, but what I, mean, what I mean especially is just my new weapon build, because I was really worried that, because I haven't had much experience with it, and I'm facing DLC enemies that are generally much higher difficulty than the base game. I was figuring I would have a pretty rough going of it. Getting used to new weapons, but actually, not really. I'm actually doing pretty damn good. I'm already feeling pretty comfortable with these weapons. Really, the only thing that I don't like about them is basically the lack of any AoE. Because normally if there's a large group, I could just, you know, do a nice swing across with my halberd and hit all of them, but in this case, I really can't do that. Which feels a little bit weird, but... Yeah, these are really cool weapons. I'm really happy with them. They do a lot of damage. It's really fun. They're very fast. Really fun to stunlock enemies. Although that whole stunlocking thing is not going to work against bosses. Or maybe particularly large enemies, so... We'll have to see how that goes. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.